Tour with fourth place in Val Noir Calais, second in Chamonix, 13th in FIBA run, so a disappointment, but those first two results working hard for him, the second and the fourth, but he needs a good result here. If he doesn't get a good result Five, and he's relying on that 13th four, place from FIBA run, then he two, could drop out one, of the top 12. Yeah, but he has all the skills in the bag. He can make it happen in his first year. Interesting. And if not so, definitely his uh, prime, like, first goal of the year to make the cut for next season he was on a wild card to come here and he proved that he deserves that spot so again this points magnet that is the double cliff is where everyone's headed make short work of the double a little bit smaller and almost goes over he managed to cling to one ski there. exactly the same line just as Julian Lopez Taking it a little smaller, but more aggressive, I would say, the approach. And getting in another drop on the skiers left with a 360. Beautiful top section with three features, big ones. Not using the firework approach that Julian did, but he's packed that top section. Yeah, very technical riding. Unbelievable, the skill that he, this young man has already. Definitely living also of what he got taught by his dad, Eric, one of the legends of our sport. So this is the product of growing up in the back country, 21 years old, and he's got the kind of experience that most 30 year olds would die for. Make his way out onto a new section of this really steep bottom face, getting sloughed through there, but holding on. What a technical section and hold it together. Maybe went wanted to go for a three, but he did a nice safety grab there. And I think that made his way all the way to the top for the current situation because uh, Julian missed the bottom part. He had maybe with that big backflip a stronger big, uh, upper part, although the 360 in the end of uh, Logan kind of equalized that as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the top run for, for now.